If you've been on Pinterest, anywhere else, you've definitely seen these types of fashion inspiration photos for super colorful, playful, interesting, and fun styling. And you've probably looked at these photos and been like, wow, this is kind of a lot, but I do also really like it. How can I do that? How can I make it mine? And that's what we're going to talk about in today's stream. I'm going to show you lots and lots of inspiration of all different types of ways that you can use style to add some kind of fun playful things and I'm going to talk a lot about how you can take this inspiration and make it into something that feels authentically yours by using the lens of the archetypes in the style key system. So that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to first talk a little bit about this aesthetic and then I'm going to show you the pictures and I've spent weeks putting together these Pinterest boards and doing all the research to give you all of the details about how you can style this aesthetic. So I am really, really happy to be able to like share all of this research I have been doing with you. So before I kind of go into like every detail and all of the examples just wanted to talk a little bit about this aesthetic and i love this quote I mean, you've probably seen it before but i think it really applies to this aesthetic it's a script from c.s lewis and it says when i became a man i put away childish things including the fear of childishness and the desire to be very grown up and i think that's very sweet and i feel like that captures a lot what this aesthetic and these types of visual choices are about it is about the courage to play and the courage to have fun with style and i think it definitely takes courage to play in general as a person in our world because you know, you're not really supposed to have that much fun in a lot of ways. A lot of times what we do with style is trying to please people with our appearance or to impress them with our outfits or, yeah, like not as much focus on your personal explorations of play and fun. But today we're going to talk about is how to do this kind of playful, intriguing, and fun styles, and how can you look at all these different types of photos and think how can you make it something that actually works for who you are as a person. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to give you lots and lots of tips. So if you're new here, I'm just going to talk about th things from the perspective of the Stalky system. So as you know, we have these four quadrants in the system, and within each of these big categories we have archetypes so there are 20 total archetypes so what I'm gonna do in this stream is I'm going to go through the different archetypes in the system and I am going to give some just example pictures and I'm going to talk about why those pictures make sense for the archetype but if you're new here I recommend you watch this video <laughs> then you visit our website yourstylekey.com that tells you a bit of information about the different quadrants and about the archetypes and I also can recommend downloading the free archetype type guide which I'm going to link below so you can read about these archetypes and get some better understanding of what the heck I'm talking about if this is new to you. Hi everyone, thank you for being here. I'm so excited. So okay, so we're going to kind of jump right into all of the recommendations. I don't have much to say about this aesthetic except what I already said which is I think it's really about having fun and bringing a sense of playfulness and enjoyment. I use the word eclectic in the style stream because that's a really big search word for the aesthetic. So if you wanna find inspiration, I think eclectic fashion or colorful fashion a lot of times will give you good inspo. And I wanted to say a couple of kind of general remarks for what we're gonna do today. So those are my three quick little caveats. So first of all, there's obviously many ways to add just a bit of fun. <laughs> I'll like come back to this. Like if you just wanna have just a bit of fun and you look at all these photos and you're like, oh my God, Rita, that's too much. I understand that, right? But there's no need to make a stream that just says like wear fun socks or like, you know, get a cool t-shirt. So I'm really talking about the kind of over the top, really bold, <laughs> really like aesthetic choice 
pieces in this video. So, you know, just have that in mind. The second thing is it's not just about the photo. I'm going to show examples for the different archetypes, but if you just look at the examples and skip through what I'm talking about, you're going to miss a lot of the lessons and a lot of the usefulness for you. Because for me, a lot of the why really matters. So why are these people choosing these outfits? So even if it's not your body shape, not your style, not your colors being shown, you could get a lot of inspiration from the why. And then the third thing I want to say is like, it's just, it's okay if you don't, if you like, if you like outfits that are not the ones for you. Obviously, there are billions of people in this world and there's so many pictures on all over this presentation where I look at that and I'm like, hmm, but that could also work for like X person and Y per, you know, like, of course it's like that. But, you know, for the sake of having a video, for the sake of having a stream, I'm choosing some photos. So if you're like really interested in some other outfits, you don't need to second guess everything you've known about yourself in the style key or your essence or whatever. Maybe you just like those outfits. So that is like the caveats I wanted to say before we get into the fun. Hi, everybody. Thank you. I went for the like the playful earrings and the bows. And I like the I feel like it, like the theme is like stuff is kind of like hanging. And I feel like this is like just yeah, it's a very cute shirt. Um, OK, yeah. OK, so now we're going to do our stuff. We're going to get right into the we're gonna get right into the discussion. We're gonna get right into kicking. And then I also like, as I talk about it, it will become clear like what I'm talking about for fun and playful. So I decided to start with the write down moonstone. So that's the write down quadrant. They are the moonstone key. So here's my little collage. And here are my kind of three top tips for how to make this aesthetic for you for the moonstone key. So first of all, I love the use of color in general. I feel like color is fun, right? I've said this before, but you know, color is literally just, you know, emitting light energy at us in all the different wavelengths. I feel like color to me is really metaphysical, it's emotional, it's powerful, and it's so important. And I feel like if you want to know how to have fun and how to play with clothes and you haven't thought about that as much before, for everybody, color is a really great starting point. But I really love that for Moonstone is just being really exploratory with your use of color. Then I also just like like the concept of whimsy and kind of dreamy themes. So I don't know, the sweetness, the fun, the charm. I like that. And then finally, of course, the tip is to make it your own. It's true for everybody. But I feel like for you, especially for Moonstone, it's not thinking about, OK, I have this aesthetic and I need to perform it. And how can I perform this aesthetic correctly? But rather thinking about, OK, where am I really seeking to add fun and play into my style? Maybe actually at work, I feel like it would be really fun to feel a bit more playful. And if I'm going to be playful at work, that's going to look really different than if I was to be playful on the weekends or if I was going to be playful hanging out with my family or going on a date night if I wanted like a fun outfit, right? So thinking about where you want to add this playfulness and funness gives you a lot of ideas about how to make it your own. So you don't need to kind of take these examples and do them. But again, just to reflect on how you could make how you could incorporate it. Okay. And so for the first archetype I wanted to talk about, it's the explorer. So the Explorer is over here, kind of in the bottom left corner in the Moonstone. And the main thing with the Explorer is what you really want is to feel like style basically is very functional and very like workable for you. Functional, not just in the literal sense of, you know, wearable, but also just that you feel like everything is kind of under control and then obviously for you to grow this kind of sense of functionality comfort and control can get too stagnant where you don't experiment or take risks but because you really like for things to feel comfortable for you I feel like it's important to think how can you incorporate playful and fun elements while kind of staying true to those needs so that's what i was thinking when i chose these photos for the explorer so on the left we have this really fun outfit with the sweater vest and this is, is she a teacher maybe because she's in a classroom 
So this is a, like a quite professional, like nice outfit. Obviously, if you wanted to be even dressier, you could do pants instead of jeans. But, you know, it's the vest, the button-up shirt, the jeans. It's kind of a preppy look. But then the color contrast is what really gives it that fun and this kind of like blobby shapes on the vest. So I feel like what she's doing here, this is a good inspo for the Explorer, is that she has kind of her basics, right? Those go-to jeans that she can wear every day, that button-up shirt that she really like feels comfortable in, but that she can throw on the vest for that really fun moment and that vest can probably go with a lot of different things so it's also like a flexible item in the wardrobe and then in the middle i chose i was thinking for if you wanted something that was really expressive and really bold i love this yellow jumpsuit it's just like ta-da and then I mean, for a lot of people that might feel like a little bit too loud but i feel like here also the functionality right she has like these really comfy shoes and she has this crossbody bag and the sunglasses it's like she's really out and about and the jumpsuit is just coming with her so i feel like the outfit's focus on kind of the functionality and practicality kind of makes it okay to have that really bright color and then of course the color here is doing the heavy lifting where it's like making the outfit feel really fun and playful and you have kind of this matching bag and on the right I find this really fun and playful even though the color scheme is really really soft and some might even say this is a bit of like a preppy pattern but I just felt the playfulness from all of the layers and how very cozy it was I was thinking about you know the big puffer jacket and then the skirt and then the bag it's all just like F fun I guess to like combine all of these pieces together and to layer them in this way so that's my explore tips and I was thinking of course you could go like really really bold I don't think that you know oh you have to like do just you know the minimal you know only one statement piece at a time so I think like you can definitely go in this much more fun direction of mixing prints or whatever so i wanted to kind of show that as a possibility and then i, I was thinking a lot for the explorer i really like taking something that is very fun in terms of the print or the color or the feeling taking that really fun thing but then making sure that it's like yeah comfortable functional likable enough that you're gonna feel really comfortable reaching for it and the same thing with this eyes embroidery i actually think i copied this from somebody's inspiration oh it was somebody from the leap from their inspiration board yeah but it's again like it's a button-up shirt right so it's kind of a familiar thing but we add those like kind of quirky unexpected touch with the eyes so again we're like doing all of these like fun things but adding them in in this like doable way yeah i agree the yin shoes are so cool i want them <laughs> Okay, next up we're gonna do the Illuminatrix and she's up here in kind of the top uh, left corner of the quadrant. And the Illuminatrix, right, so her style journey is basically just all about bringing the joy, the sparkle, the happiness to herself through style, right? So how style can really support her is just through the happiness. So I feel like you're probably the archetype that is the most interested in this type of aesthetic with the playful funness. And I feel like your growth journey is really learning like, how can I make room for this fun? What makes me have fun? What lights me up? How can I find that place where I'm doing enough for me uh, without feeling overwhelmed? How can I do it like authentically without, you know, doing somebody else's vision of it? And how can I give myself really permission to try all of these fun, playful things without being so worried about, you know, what other people are going to say. So that's the growth path. And these are the outfits I chose. So I feel like th you can see right away that her style, I think, is like more eclectic, you know, kind of a, more of a risk taker. So I like this kind of really flouncy, floofy princess skirt, but it's and it's paired with this like sweater and it definitely goes, but it's also like has a little bit of that quirky feel. And then I feel like the shoes with the socks with the with the socks with the skirt is a really fun touch so i feel like the whole because it has this really light and dreamy color scheme and just this i don't know very joyful kind of whimsical feel i i, I love the outfit so much and then in the middle i feel like this is more of like a chic and and elegant kind of fun playful i love how instead of just having the regular jeans she has these jeans with this kind of a rainbow detail and again just using these joyful bright colors of course you could kind of tone down the outfit by changing the top to a white top or having a plain jacket instead of an orange jacket or 
you could just have like the jeans with a sweater and earrings right so there's a lot of different combos you can do and then here on the right this kind of playful i love this i don't know the scalloped hem and again like the socks with the loafers and i feel like this is almost a little bit like edgy so i feel like that's another way for you to make things a little bit more playful is taking in that direction so I, the reason i had this as a set of photos is because i feel like they represent some different facets of having fun and being playful for you like there's not only one way to do it and then yeah for my like inspiration slide for you i just think what about all of the things that you could do that maybe feel a bit too much right now but could be totally you know okay this is like a very extra eye look maybe you don't know how to do that but maybe you could learn how to do a little flower look at these sparkly boots they could be a daily boot maybe they could just be in the wardrobe suddenly they feel like a daily shoe this is like a very colorful outfit really attention grabbing some people might feel like oh it's a bit too much but then maybe you realize this color uh, really brings joy. So it's for the matrix. And next up, we have the Gentle Grace. So she's up here in the top right corner. And for the Gentle Grace, of course, the most important thing is that, I don't know, <laughs> meeting your own standards and the desire to really uh, get the things the way you want them to. And your growth path can really be about know also having some fun and you know re relaxing a bit of that rigidity so i think for the gentle grace because you do prefer things that are a bit more like elegant it can be a bit tricky sometimes if you're feeling like oh i have to like be so fun and so playful and it kind of takes you out of your authentic groove so i, I was thinking about what are some ways that the gentle grace is like authentically playful so thinking like pr like pr um t-shirts with like a logo or something with like colorful that could be really fun and then she has this hot pink color so and maybe even a belt or something and i like how these accessories are all matching the jacket so there's a lot of this like elegance and coordination in it but still a bit of fun and then here both of these photos are just people mixing kind of classic prints together right so it's different types of checks or it's the checks and the lines. And then not only do we have the checks and the lines in the middle, but it's like we even have another coat and there's red and yellow. So, and here on the right, there's like this turquoise earring. So I would say these outfits to me are all very extra, but I feel like this could be you, as I said, kind of really going to that max expressiveness and really having fun with the style and not holding back. And what I said about kind of relaxing rigidity is that, you know, realistically, the pink shoes and the bag and the jacket, they're not gonna be all the same pink and and, oh, the checks, you know, do they really match perfectly or do they not? So I feel like for you, fun is finding like where can I kind of relax the need for that kind of having it exactly right while still honoring that desire for you for everything to kind of make sense together. And oh, something is missing here. But I had some sparkly, I had some silver Mary Janes here and you can't see them that well. And then I don't know, I just thought this was a really cute outfit. No big comment about it. Okay, now we're gonna do the sweetheart. She's on here in the bottom right corner. And of course for the sweetheart, I mean, the main thing is like, you just really want things to be easy. And I feel like for you, really put together and really easy that's the two things you really want and then for you with having fun with style I feel like it is about embracing the sweetness and finding that permission for yourself to let it feel like easy and relaxed and this fun and nice without yeah making it overly difficult for yourself so those are some of the photos I really liked for the sweetheart I love this kind of really floaty green skirt and then it's paired with a sweater and like the mushroom is so cute and this is what i mean about the sweetness you know a lot of times going back to what i said in the very beginning it's like you're like oh i'm an adult like can i wear this sweater with a mushroom on it but i think it's really really sweet and then again this like the cohesion and like the matchiness and everything i think kind of like makes it feel like okay i can still i can still have this fun because you know it all makes sense together and we have these like sweet shoes in the middle it's just another great use of this color i think it's just those colors to me just look really really fun and adding in even the shoes it just i also i mean i love the photo because the the lady she's like laughing and she's having a great time but i think like the outfit really feels like this really warm sunny day so i feel like that's why it's so perfect then on the right i have reese witherspoon so i feel like this is a really cute outfit i just wanted to 
say that I feel like the playfulness sometimes for you can come from feeling like, oh, things are like coordinating and they're matchy. And that in itself can be like really, really fun. And it can be like a bit dressy. It doesn't have to be. I feel like for you doing things that are very eclectic can feel a little bit tricky sometimes. Yeah. So just like cute colors, like just a fun story, dainty jewelry, like hair bows, anything that feels that has a bit of that fresh sweetness. I feel like that could be really fun to try. It could be a good direction to explore. Now we're going to do the main character. So she's kind of right in the middle of the quadrant. And of course, what she really wants it, with the playfulness and the fun, right, is to feel good about having that fun in her style. And I think for you, you want to take the things that are on the trend so you feel like, okay, I can do this. But then the important thing is just to let it be your own thing. So I feel like right now, dresses with these dresses with sneakers, it's been kind of like in for a while. And I feel like it's a really cute silhouette. And again, because even though the dress is like, wow, this print is not just fun, it's also really, really bold. It's a really, really bold attention grabbing print. But then, you know, you have this kind of like elegant bag and these very relaxed shoes and the dress in itself has a very um, relaxed, comfortable shape. So I feel like that makes it feel very wearable because that's like my, my big worry about you is that you want to do the fun stuff. But then when it comes time for you to actually put on the fun thing, you just take it off and leave it at home. So I was thinking like, OK, what are the different ways that it can be really wearable? Or well, I love this idea here in the middle, which is having a statement jacket where the jacket is really the centerpiece and underneath, OK, she has nice jeans. She probably just has like a, a like a simple colorful or white top or something underneath and then she has these pink shoes that kind of pick up the color from the jacket and just a kind of an elegant bag so i like also the idea of you just having a statement piece because that's just like the one thing you can put it on and then if the rest of the outfit is just kind of a bit more minimal and elegant then it can feel like possible because again my big concern for you is not wearing the thing or feeling like you're like too conspicuous or it's too out there or something so in here again like i feel like waistcoats are kind of in but this is kind of more of a quirky like vintage feel i like how she styled it with the graphic t-shirt and the green belt so the other thing is also taking this kind of statement piece like the waistcoat but then making this kind of cohesive fun story around it as a way to make it wearable for you yeah and, and again like i just want to say i know i keep talking about the color but i do think for right down it's just can be like okay well i love orange orange is a really fun color for me orange and blue is a fun color combo and then i have the statement bag it doesn't need to be uh, okay i have like the you know because you could look at some inspiration photos and they have orange and blue but it's like everything is to the max so you've got to think about how are you going to wear it and do your own. I love the idea of colored liner. I, I recommend this for so many archetypes this whole stream. I realize that because I just think it's a really fun touch. You know, if you're doing something, I don't know, it's just it's quite easy and it, it's a fun way. Yeah. And also like red, <laughs> the red shoes. I've been seeing them everywhere recently. I feel like that's that's like a fun uh, pop of color for you. So those are kind of ways to like add these colorful details without needing them to be too much like the focal point of the outfit and like, I don't know, the whole outfit feeling like too visible. So let's write down. If you want more on the Moonstone, then I really recommend that you visit the Pinterest board because I have like way more examples than just the ones that I've shown. And then also, if you want to read about the archetypes, I'm going to link this archetype guide below that just goes through the archetypes. Because, of course, what I'm showing them, I'm just saying a couple of quick things about them. But I'm not kind of giving you, like, the full info all about it. And if you want to learn more, then I've written up a bit of info about that. <clears throat> okay, so that was it. That was the one store. I hope you liked it. All right. Alrighty. So I think now we are going to go to the next quadrant. Oh, thanks, Renata. I'm glad that you're liking them. Okay. So now we're going to talk about how to do the playful, fun, colorful styling for the write up quadrant. So that's Sapphire. 
So how are we going to do the playful fun? So for me, the Sapphire styling is always right. It's always about being very bold and really expressive. And of course, what is bold, what is expressive depends on your context, where you're going, what you're doing, who you are. But I think when I'm thinking about this playful and fun aesthetic, I also wrote like visual cohesion because I think the important thing for you to keep in mind is just to kind of go for it. You know, like what I was talking about for the Moonstones right now, where it's like, oh, you just take one statement piece and then, okay, the rest of the outfit can just kind of be like relaxed and supportive and, you know, just find a way to make it bearable. I think for the Sapphires, it's not really like that. Having just one focal point of the outfit that's kind of fun, a lot of times can feel instead it creates a disjointed feel for the outfit. So what you really want to do is think about like visual cohesion, which doesn't mean that every piece you're wearing needs to be, you know, really out there and really quirky, but just this really a lot more emphasis on like that the things are really belonging together and kind of make sense. So just oh, I can give like as a really personal example, obviously, right, I don't want to if I have these like really, really fun earrings, I wouldn't personally, for me, style it with like a, just a white kind of like strappy top because it really wouldn't have that much fun. So instead I have also this like really fun blouse that has the sleeves and these little bows and I have my sparkle nails, which I think are a good accessory for all of the fun. And I have a bit of, you know, blue on the, on the eyes. So I try to kind of create a little bit more of a cohesive story. And just also for you to think about the bigger picture about like, you know, why are we doing this? I think for you, style is really a way of making your kind of energetic contribution and that desired impression. So for you doing this aesthetic and the playful fun examples are all about how are you going to share your fun with the world how are you going to create a bit more of a playful vibe wherever you are because you know as i said i really think we just need to have fun all of us that would be really nice i think in life okay so we're gonna start off with the princess playful dame she's literally playful so i feel like she likes this this aesthetic so she's down here in the kind of the bottom right corner so for princess playful dame i mean the story is that you want things to be really extra but you don't want it to feel kind of stifling and heavy so that's kind of the examples i chose i feel like they all illustrate this idea of having a look that's very refined and very put together and kind of over the top but at the same time not feeling kind of stale or, or boring you know in any way i feel like <laughs> i love this lady in the green and pink i feel like this is kind of I'm a little bit more of a conservative vibe but i love how she has this kind of see-through bag and i just think this is yeah i don't know i feel like the vibes are immaculate in the outfit i love on the left here how she has this kind of fur cuff and again playing with colors but then bringing in this kind of matchiness between the back kind of like matches on the cuff of the coat and the white accessories and the statement earrings. So there's really a lot going on visually in the outfits and I like that. And then in the middle, I feel like, yeah, this kind of retro style print and these contrast socks kind of give you this playfulness. But as you can see, like, it's just the theme for a lot of them is just there's a lot going on. There's a lot of this, like, ex extraness, right? So not only does she have the statement coat, but she has this really fun bag and she has the statement earrings, right? Or, okay, she has this really bold skirt and also, like, a geometric bag and the geometric shoes, right? So there's just kind of a bit more to it. But I wanted to say that, you know, it doesn't have to be kind of uh, so formal. I mean, especially depending on, like, who and where you are in life. So I feel like this is a great example. I think these are plissé pants. I think they're pants. I don't think it's a skirt. But either way, this doesn't matter. I like this. It's the same thing, right, as if we compare her to our green and pink lady before. It's just like we have this cohesion in colors, in textures, the like very pink story. And again, there's just so much, right? There's the little sunglasses and the matching little socks and this kind of like satin shimmery dream fabric. And I think for you, for the playful dame is exploring where are the limits on the playfulness. I put this iridescent tote because thinking about how can you bring the fun stuff into like daily life where it's like a bit too much for other people, but for you, totally on the agenda or like going out like oh got your top with the feathers it's like why not you know I think that's like a really good question for you and the sapphires in general is kind of just the why not <laughs> okay next we're gonna do the role models so she's over here in the bottom left corner and for you I mean what you really want 
is you do want your style to make sense for who you are, where you are, but you really like trying to make things your own way. So it's like you're trying to add, I think with the playful and fun thing, it's to kind of meet and exceed expectations while adding this playful twist. So that's what I was thinking about with these outfits. So this is my, I had different, I had different examples for Instagram, but somebody was all like, can't the role model wear patterns? And I was like, okay, I gotta put some patterns on here because it's, you know, when I choose three photos, like, and I love that people ask things like that because, you know, I'm so into all of the research and I've looked at, you know, I've pinned like 600 photos in my head. It's just this like cloud of info. And then it's so helpful when people ask questions about what I'm showing or just like, oh, I don't get this or, oh, is this allowed? Like, can I have dark colors? Can I have patterns? Because yeah, it's just hard for me to always think about how the things are going to be like understood and received. So I really like it. Anyway, so I added some more patterns. So this one, I just love. So this is like in the middle, a great, a great vision for like, right? Exceed, she wants to exceed the expectation and she's going to bring fun into it, right? So she's, where's this lady going? She's probably going to, I don't know, like a nice lunch. Maybe she's going to like a meeting because she, maybe she's doing something with her like you know extended family on the weekend because she looks kind of fancy right with the dress and the tote and the loafers but it's like the really playful fun print and so kind of having that oh i'm a little bit a little bit extra put together and then the fun twist so i really like on the right here with this like lime green dress i feel it's very surprising almost even intriguing you know but then it's like the formality of the trench and how she tied on the neck and this like the boots i don't know i just that it really comes together for me it's like very very fun and on the left i mean yeah it, like i don't know how to explain it it's just great i love that you have the pants these hot pink boots the purse it's just everything about the outfit to me is really, really fun. But I wanted to say like, of course, it doesn't have to be this like super over the top always, but thinking about how can I take like a normal outfit and then make it into this kind of like extra thing, right? So here she's literally wearing a sweatshirt and a satin skirt and you, you don't need to have it orange and hot pink. You could have blue and green, you could have uh, purples, right? You can have whatever color you want, or maybe you have like a white, or, you know, like a gray sweater and like a bright blue skirt, right? So that's a really easy and comfortable shape and then like matching sneakers. So it's a very relaxed outfit physically, but it's like, boom, kind of bringing that impact. And then for the extras, I put here this handbag because I think for you, accessories is a good place to kind of flex your extraness, right? You like to be that person that takes that extra level of attention to detail you know so i feel like accessories is great or i put this rose jacket oh pink jacket here because it's like again oh it's like you know just fall go-to jacket but you're gonna make yours that extra pink because you think okay we need more fun we need more color we need some more playfulness i'm gonna go for the pink option and i know this page ended up a bit pink but i just want to make it clear i don't think it has to be pink i just <laughs> I think pink is fun though. Okay, next up we're gonna have the power. So the power is up here, up top uh, in the left corner. So because the power is up there, she has the very up essence, then the most important thing for her, right, is to be able to kind of dress to impress. <laughs> and I feel like she really likes to have things like put together very, very intentionally. But I think that what I wanted to show here is that it can have very different flavors again, right, depending on what does it mean for you? What do you think is fun, right? So here on the right, I mean, this outfit is like, honestly outrageous. It's like, it's a blazer dress and, and it's like so bright and it's so in your face. And I feel like that's what the power does really well though. Like you don't need to be this lady, of course, but it's this assertiveness that I feel like for you is really, really fun. Or on the left here, right? It's like, boom, it's like the fur coat. It has big stars all over it. And I think she has like a matching hat and there's a bag, right? So it's again, it's the assertiveness of your fun so you don't want your fun to just be this like one little detail because of course as i said in the beginning like anybody can do that right you can just have a bit of fun anytime no aesthetic required but if you're going for this like playful fun really like vibe mood with the outfit it's like you want it to be a bit like over the top 
and strong. So I love this idea here with this, like, it's like so retro and so extra with this like oh, headscarf and she has the sunglasses. And it's like, it's again, it's really just like very assertive. So I think that's a keyword I often think about for you. So I thought like, you know, for a lot of people, this would not be a fun outfit, but I could totally imagine that for you, right? Because it's the assertiveness of the outfit in itself that's fun. I think complicated shoes always for you. Again, it's like the impracticalness of it. I feel like you just glow from that. You don't have to wear that every day. Just, you know, it's a way to have fun. And then, yeah, like big moody, trendy sunglasses is very fun. Just like, you know, you're there living your best life, flexing on people. And then, oh, priestess is in the wrong place sorry so she's supposed to be up here in the top right corner and with the priestess i mean what you really need is you need to be kind of distinguishing yourself visually that's just like your big need is for everything to be very special because you take style so seriously and it's a big project so for you it's like everything we've been talking about for the write-up is kind of just dialed up a little bit right so you want it to be really really extra and you wanted to kind of have this, you know, cohesion. So it was like basically every piece on these women is like a statement piece, right? And of course, these are like models and this is inspo, so don't stress. But do you see like she has like the pink fluffy jacket with the bow and the cuff and the patterned pants and the boots. And, you know, here I love this cloud themed outfit, right? So she has the cloud sweater and she has the blue eyeshadow and she has this skirt and the flats in the back. And I mean, if you're... Uh, using this priestess archetype i mean this is just an outfit you could wear i don't know to go to the movies you don't have to do the eyeshadow like that bold right but it's about just like letting yourself be as fun as you want i think the middle you know could dinner i guess dinner party that's and it's like oh so it's like the over the topness for you but unlike with the power where you really like i don't know enjoy that <laughs> over the topness it's more like it just kind of has to be that way for you, do you know what I mean? And then I put this because I sometimes people ask if the priestess always has to be like, I don't know, very dreamy or something. And I think like this is a great example of like a fun, playful priestess look that's not so dreamy. I love this like Snoopy jacket. Here it's like the formality of it, the sharpness, the coordination. Again, it's like everything feels so extremely thought through and like perfectly put together then i found this like eye pin i just feel like it's fun for you to have these like really extra details and these shoes okay they are like ridiculous these are some like you know stupid luxury shoes but i like the inspo with the eye and the shoes to think about like well how far is how far is too far for you and honestly not like and they're telling you to wear you know these shoes to go to the office but i'm thinking like thinking for yourself if fun if playfulness, if um, this enjoyment is a really big thing that you want to bring to the world and you feel like it's a really big part of your values, then it's okay for you to be really over the top with it and to explore, okay, where are the limits, you know? Is that shoe like completely unreasonable? You know I, mean? I mean, okay, that shoe probably is completely unreasonable, but you know, like here she got the silver shoes, yeah. Okay, so that's our priestess. And then we're gonna finish with the icon. So she's right in the middle. And the icon is she's the glamour diva, right? So it's like you want style is really in service to your mission as a person. And because of that, your growth is really about creating this very authentic, bespoke, like style persona. That's why I always talk about the out of place, out of time style, because you know, you're the iconic, right? It's just different so playful and fun for you you know as i said with the power for her it's playful and fun to <laughs> to do the flexing for you the fun is like being different and just like celebrating that so that's what i chose with these photos right like this is a very very unique look she's like right it's like blue sunglasses and the shoes and the boots right it's a, obviously a high fashion version i also think that this is in stockholm you guys so that's fun but it's like great this is a very great like out of place out of time photo because i do think it looks kind of trendy but it's also like mm, you know it you should, could be wearing that like 20 years ago also um it is just like mysterious and very cool here on the right i kind of i love how this is a very relaxed outfit but still like so bold and like the confidence and this pairing of these colors i feel like and the sunglasses again she's really carrying it off and on the right it's like is it shorts is it a skirt it's so unique right and this red patent and i wanted to show also like a darker color scheme because again i don't think that the icon needs to be any particular way for you as i said it's really about thinking like okay 
what's the mission? How is style taking me there in this very, very unique way? I don't know. I just like the celestial suit. Bold accessories, always great. And I love like retro styles for you because, you know, I don't know. I feel like you more than anybody else take a lot of symbols and I don't know, all types of textures and you really are able to like blend them over time, you know, <laughs> for a long time into something that's very your own. So I think for the icon, I would say it could be the case that for you, playfulness is a really big uh, playfulness is a big part of your persona where it's like you feel like your mission in the world maybe could even be really related to play or fun in some way so then maybe you want to curate this persona that's very like fun fun you know but it could also be that you just want this touch of fun a bit of like levity so that's that's the right up archetypes and again if you want more info i'm going to link our pinterest board below it has a lot more examples if you're like i want to see more range and then if you want to learn more about the archetypes I'm talking about, let's download the archetype guide. I'm going to link that below. It's free. Okay. So that's the write-up quadrant. Sapphire key. Okay, we're like, we're making really good pace here, but my, my program keeps saying that like um, something is like laggy and it's dropping frames. So I hope the quality is okay. Beauty Novice says it's fun to flex on people. Heather says love the middle pick with red pants and red patterned sweater. Which one? Okay. Sorry, I, like I lost my slides a bit. Okay, quality's good. Thank you for reassuring me because I, I live in the nightmare of the technological malfunctions. Do you guys remember when like every one of my streams would get derailed by like horrible technological malfunctions all the time. That era is past now. Okay, so we did it. We did the two keys. So now we're going to move on to our third one. I just wanted to kind of take a moment, a human moment. Also, thank you everybody for coming. And as I said, oh my God, I've been like researching this and thinking about the for weeks. And it's so like, I don't know, it's really, really fun to think about these specific aesthetics because you really, I don't know, get to explore so much about how all of the tiny details can make things work for so many different people. Oh, Roberta, you like that? Okay, people like the examples. I see the comments now. Sorry, I wasn't seeing them. Okay, now we're going to talk about the left arm quadrant. That's the ruby key. And again, we have five archetypes here. So we're going to talk about how they can do fun playful and eclectic style based on who they are so here's my little collage for the left down ruby key and you know one of my left words in the system is intrigue and i think that's a great word when i'm thinking about fun and playful styles for you it's like the unexpected right it's all about when i'm gonna come back it's all about like that thing that like lets people do a bit of a double take right i often say that for left the energy you know, you have the intriguing kind of gravity energy people are really like, you're very visible. And so when you're doing something a little bit unexpected visually, it's like giving people a bit of an invitation or permission to notice you a bit. And I think that can be really, really fun for you. And it also means that you can combine things that in a way that other people maybe couldn't pull off, not even people with your same essence, archetype, whatever, because you can do things in a very idiosyncratic, just you way. But that also means it's hard to give really good like examples that you know speak to everybody. So I wrote fluid styling for me is really, really important because it's really about thinking, how am I going to style this piece based on the vibe, based on the mood, right? So we were just looking at the write-ups sapphire and that's a great contrast for you right of course you could take um the priestess outfit with the cloud sweater of course that cloud sweater could be worn in other ways but like it's got to be part of like you know this big sky blue theme but in the ruby key it's like you're like i don't know what i want to do with that sweater if that sweater lands in your lap and that sweater is like you and it's perfect you could probably come up with so many different ways to style it based on the mood and the vibe so i want to encourage you to like kind of really have fun with like okay how much play do I want? What is fun for me? How can I do that? And like really, really focusing on your own experience. Because even though I'm showing these visual examples, your whole style logic, right, as always, is very, very like self-focused. And it's really about how is style 
making you feel all of the time. So for you, of course, it's great to like look fun and playful, but it's like, do you feel like, are you having fun? And are you connected in with that playful part of yourself? That is the really important thing. That's the mission. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with Spicy Girl Next Door. So she's down here in the bottom right corner. So the important thing for her, right, is that things should be really like easy. Easy is really important, easy and relaxed. But also you want the spiciness, the twist, right? That intrigue, because you don't, you just really don't want things to feel boring. So I feel like playful and fun for you are great words to explore. So here on the left, I was really excited to add this outfit because I feel like it's very polished even, like even like preppy, you know, because the lady, she's very like done. But then I feel like the shawl is, has a very, very playful and fun pattern on it. And I feel like having it really wrapped around her gives her that like enveloping grounding. Like I really feel like it's a, sensory inspired move rather than just an aesthetic inspired move so that for you kind of like being held and wrapped by something that is in a fun texture fun color a little bit unexpected that could be great and remember like as i was talking about with the explorer and write down it's like if you have kind of a comfortable base adding that one like statement fun playful item can be a really great you know th yeah that's just a really great strategy in the middle here it's it's a similar idea right we have kind of like a neutral comfortable base but okay i'm really warm i'm really comfy and then we have these like boom these really intricate really fun really high contrast pants and on left down i'm always talking about like showing and hiding right that's the ruby strategy so what i mean literally by that is that when you're wearing these pants you might feel like wow i'm really on display because these are really bold they're very very bright <laughs> like colored it's a very vivid pattern and so they stand out a lot and then so I'm thinking always like okay what we could do is we could put on this jacket and we could cover up our feet with these high top shoes and we could even put on a hat and then suddenly it feels like okay the pants are really out there but then the rest is like safe and cozy but of course as I just talked about with the fluid styling maybe like the other day you don't need all of that stuff and you take off the fleece jacket and in the summer you want to wear these pants with like a teeny little crop top and or like a you know a really big white oversized t-shirt whatever right so the point is to take that statement item and to find the place like how am i happy wearing this same with the shawl she could have you know this is an elegant lady so i'm thinking maybe, maybe she has like a beige sheath dress and then she like adds the shawl right and on the right i just think this pattern it's so fun and then i love how she has the orange shoes and they're really like i love how wide the straps are because i feel like they're really supportive and really hugging the feet and the sturdiness of the platforms is really nice and i feel like the pattern is just really really quirky and fun but again the fit is really really soft so i feel like she can move very easily and that's the thing i'm a bit concerned with spicy girls i didn't want you to feel like you're like too much like yeah just too on display i feel like most of the time you're not in that mood so that's what I'm trying to help you avoid is feeling too on display. And then, okay, here I put this photo because I think a big thing with Spicy Girl is like you guys often kind of fighting this battle about like, am I allowed to do things that are unflattering like or not? And I just want to say a lot of you probably want to do some things that are unflattering because they're fun and it's your experience that really matters. I don't know you. So maybe right now in life, it's really important that you don't look uh in any way unflattering in which case okay but overall like let yourself have fun even if it doesn't please other people fun sock right color easy way to introduce color contrast fun bag comfortable shape really fun texture fun pattern so just again looking for ways to add the playfulness now we have the outsider so she is in the bottom left corner so she's kind of like the really a person that has to completely operate in a very sensory way and like really really picky so honestly kind of hard to find examples uh so i i really want you to trust me that the examples are here as like stories rather than as pictures only so the thing that the outsider have found a lot of times it's like it's just hard for you to do shopping because you're so picky about stuff so the things have to work in a lot of different ways so i was thinking okay here we have like we have the fun sunglasses we have a fun print and we have the fun shoes with socks but kind of the, the t-shirt it's got that soft comfort the skirt has that like wearability it has that thigh slit for a bit of that like sensual intrigue vibe and the main thing is that okay we're bringing the items together in a way that's fun 
but they're all kind of, you know, comfort things that you really enjoy having on the body. So it's not this like display of like, look how quirky and fun and cool I am. And then in the middle, you know, I was just talking about the showing and hiding and this is kind of to the extreme, right? So this dress again is really, really bold and really, really visible. And I was thinking for you, uh, when you have this very, very delicate essence or very approachable essence and you feel like style can sometimes be really overwhelming, it's a strategy I've definitely seen is to be putting on these, you know, really like heavy shoes or like she has her neck and her arms completely covered and she has like that kind of strapped on her chest. So again, she's taking this she's taking this really bold dress but then she's kind of like backing away from having it be bold by saying like okay like the rest of me is like off limits it's just the dress so my app is again like saying suddenly my internet started like working really badly so please let me know if you're not hearing or seeing me yeah i don't know why that happened and then on the right, okay, so this is a great example of an alpha where other people will be like, oh, this isn't like that good, this isn't that playful, this isn't that fun. But my point here is like, this is a great outfit for a day when you're feeling maybe really sensitive in the body and you want this like really enveloping, but really easy fit, right? So I imagine that this sweater and the pants would be really, really soft and flowy and you can kind of like cocoon inside it. But just because you're having this kind of cocoon cozy day doesn't mean that your outfit is expressionless and has like nothing going on in it, right? So instead I chose this kind of like interesting, fun, creative sweater. And I used this like soft pale colors because I really was thinking about I'm having this cocoon day, but I want it to be kind of fun and free rather than like bleak cocoon. So I hope this makes sense. I feel like words are very hard with the outsider. So I hope I put that into words well enough. And then I wanted to include this picture and I have them on the Pinterest because I do think like, oh my God, you can of course wear like way more expressive fits it's just a case of like actually building up the items that are going to let you do that because again you're so picky you're so particular and having the things and then also like you can be feel like so hyper visible so you sometimes don't want those things but of course like you can wear them and you should feel very free too if that's like what feels fun for you but i also thought like even like a micro detail like you know the, the little flower that's totally unexpected with the rest of the outfit or doing kind of what i recommended to everybody about um yeah like color so you take like a color that feels playful to you so for example here i thought green for a lot of people that can be a playful color and you just kind of like you know get into the green mood i love these kind of swirly you know flowy patterns they're they're really really nice okay so some people are saying that there are some pauses but everything else is fine yeah i mean I, yeah i don't know sorry i can I cannot control it but at least <sighs> we do what we can hello mysterious society i'm sorry you missed you missed the moonstone moment and now we're in the ruby moment okay so that's the outsider yeah no i think i bet you do i great on you yeah so and i think the pants here are also patterns i just wanted to kind of show this as a contrast because i know here i'm like oh like subtle but it doesn't have to be subtle i just think a lot of times for you subtle is what you want and you don't need to do more just like to prove to others that like you can Okay, now we're going to talk about the cool girl. So she is in the middle of the quadrant. And of course, for the cool girl, right? So it's all about the kind of the confidence, doing things your own way and just deciding like, I like these things together and then actually enjoying that combination. I love like this kind of combination of the striped t-shirt with these loose pants with the flowers on them and these kind of blue shoes because again it's kind of like cohesive right it's not like a jumble of items together but it's like a little bit unexpected also I love the kind of the soft flowiness of the pants I feel like that gives you again that kind of enveloping a bit sensual vibe and this outfit feels very relaxed and really just I don't know nice and then here in the middle I did something that was like very casual, but really like cohesive and put together, right? Because she definitely got that sweater to match her pants. And I like how the shoes and like the hair and the sunglasses, everything is very sleek. 
I guess it's it's literally like looks really fun to me and then on the right yeah as with the main character I just think this like really fun with these bold kind of statement dresses that you can pair with your sneakers and just kind of letting that statement item be the statement item and then kind of accessorizing the rest based on how you feel like doing and the main thing for you is just yeah put on the things make the combo the way you like it and then feel the confidence in your choices and allow yourself to enjoy putting things together the way you like them and then it's like if it's fun for you that's really great i was thinking like also again as for other people i talk about that for you bringing the fun and the playfulness it depends right like where you're going what you're doing etc so here i think this is a really fun and playful touch because she has a blazer but she, it's orange and then she has this like leopard bag so and then she rolled up the pants a bit so she added i think a lot of playful touches to kind of like a standard like dressy outfit but she made it fun and playful by adding these modifications and i think in general thinking for you you know i always say this like kind of like nonchalance but still like <laughs> definitely like you know deliberate so I was thinking like, what about, what are some little details we could add where it's like just that little bit of playful fun extra um, in your day. Okay, so that's for the cool girl. And then finally we have the wildflower. So she is, no, not finally. So she's up here in the uplift corner. And for the wildflower, the important thing is for you to be really expressive and to kind of learn how to be comfortable with your visibility, taking space, being seen and all of that, but also allowing yourself to kind of flow organically. For a really good explanation of this is like, maybe for you, playful aesthetic isn't really your aesthetic, but you have these two playful things in your wardrobe and then you just sometimes wear them a lot and then you don't need to rethink, oh, should I like make everything fun and playful? Or like, oh, but I also like dark and moody stuff. Is Should I change that? You know, you just let kind of the seasons come as they come. And also for pairing your items, it's like, just do what feels best for you. Do you want to make a really cohesive outfit that's like very, you know, refined and matchy? Great. Like, do you want to have more of an eclectic outfit where it's like stuff you just put together based on your mood? That's also really good. I feel like you have really important thing for you is just to realize, to give yourself that permission to really explore with it. So that's why I tried to show the examples of that. On So on the left here, I feel like this is like a more like, <laughs> like a minimal outfit because it's still, right? We have the fun green color and then the blue shoes and it's a little bit playful, right? So, and I like the sunglasses and I feel like overall, like with the textures, it has a little bit of the elemental, a little bit of enveloping, a little bit mysterious, right? But it's, it's kind of like low key, <laughs> playful. And then in the middle here, I think this is a very eclectic style, right? So she has, I mean, it's not like, oh, like she looks absurd because nothing matches. Uh, because the blue of the flats kind of, you know, matches with the sweater and it's like the similar intensity and the orange and the blue, like, you know, I, there's a story there. But at the same time, we also have a bit on this like randomness with the white skirt there. And, you know, maybe the white skirt with the flats could go with a totally different top. The sweater could be in a, you know, with the flats with a different pant. Like it, it really represents this fluidity to me because when I look at her, I'm just like, this is great. Like it's, yeah, I like the outfit even though maybe it's not completely logical. And that's, that's the important part. And on the right here, I took this very extra, very logical outfit, because I wanted to show that as an example. So for me, I would say this is a more like logical outfit, right? Because it has a little bit like, almost like a bit preppy vibe, like with the kind of embroidered little eyelet top and these, you know, geometric kind of print and the velvet slippers and everything is a little bit extra. And I feel like, at the same time, it has this richness of texture, the visual intrigue, this like visual interest that is great for the wildflower. And it's a great example of like, oh, I have this one outfit in my wardrobe and maybe the rest of my style is like that. It's not, but you know, this is me on my playful day. And then I wanted to say, you know, it doesn't need to be this, like everything is extra to the max. Cause I know sometimes I feel with the wildflower examples, it can sound a bit like that. So I, I chose this one. It's like, right, we have visual interest from the contrast between the top and the, the bag. And we have these like fun shoes here, but also the outfit is still relaxed. So it doesn't need to always be everything. 
another just like makeup just the, like random colors for you i like this with the fun like accessory that's on a little theme with the shirt that was really cute didn't have a big like sophisticated reason i just liked it and then we have the seductress as our final ruby archetype so she's there in the top right corner and for the seductress it's of course what you want to do right is you like to be on the charming side and you like to be also more put together right i also call her she's like the glamour diva i think sometimes so what i want to say is like you don't need if you look at some of the other examples and you're like oh i don't relate to this because this is like too like wild for me what i wanted to do is to give you encouragement to like make the fun playful stuff your own right so i do think one thing i was drawn to a lot you'll see it on the pinterest is patterns and prints for the seductress so taking a print or a pattern which you think is fun and which feels playful to you and applying that just to a shape you like and then styling you know the rest can be relatively minimal around that choice so this cherry print like you know you don't need a, a belly shirt you could just have a regular white blouse you could even have a sweater here right but the important thing is just okay you have this like fun playfulness from the pants in the middle here i just yeah i love like the organic shapes i love the way that it accentuates her body shape but being you know like yeah the colors combinations are really playful and fun so i like that for a bit more of a formal situation and then right here i thought this like really fun coat it was so glamour and then it feels a little bit like you know random to me because she's not kind of going all into it like oh, i'm wearing this coat so i have to have this you know fully like i don't know pink fluffy outfits like she could but I also like that she's just styling it with these relaxed sneakers. I feel like it gives it this kind of like careless, playful, fun vibe, which I think is interesting. I put this as another example of this like outfit, which I think you can really feel like, oh, this is fun, even though a person looking at it might, might be like, that's not like playful enough. But for you, like, oh, it says love and it has like, I don't know, what is that? And you have these like red boots and that feels like really, really fun. And it doesn't need to be yeah like according to somebody else's idea of what fun is and again like yeah fun nails the thing is belt is little flowers that's what i wanted to show just like those like extra touches that are not really necessary but yeah just adding something okay so and if you want more on the left hand ruby you gotta visit the pinterest board it's a lot more examples for each archetype so it gives you an even better feel and if you want to know about the archetypes themselves, you can download the free guide. Okay, so that was Love Down Ruby. We're making great time here. Fernanda says, the lady with the orange blazer was Brazilian. She's a personal stylist. I wonder if she's a cool girl. You'll have to tell me. I just save photos and then I don't know who the people are. And I sometimes save like same person across different archetype recommendations so i don't you know i don't not really trying to type <clears throat> them as a person but now i'm really curious and hi marina thank you for coming oh already left a like a best stream participant definitely like the video if you like it because i do i really do spend like a tremendous amount of effort and time on preparing these types of streams so i really like to know if people actually do kind of receive the value from it that kind of makes sense for me to put in the amount of effort because i'm very self-conscious about doing this in kind of a sloppy or a bad way like it would be really frustrating if i just threw together some outfits for each archetype because then you know people get confused and they start questioning or they're like feel like i don't know something just didn't go like as as it should so i really want to be careful and there's the 20 archetypes i want to represent all of them like accurately so yeah um so yeah if you like it like the video because it's very helpful for me um and also like yeah let me know if you do think it is helpful otherwise i could probably do something else with that that could be more helpful okay and then we're gonna like round everything off. We're gonna talk about left up key. We're gonna talk uh, left up quadrant. We're gonna talk about the amethyst key. So left up amethyst, right? For you, style is all about sharing yourself with the world, right? So I think about playing with perception. 
so that's what i wrote it's like for you style is really i always i always have to do this i'm like style is really this show. <laughs> it's really about taking something that's you whether it's like an inner quality or like an image like you know oh i really relate to this i don't know these types of prints this is like me it's taking these things that feel like you and really like putting it out into the world so what is playful for you is playing with how you're being perceived maybe playing with people's expectations playing with how much attention you're receiving playing with the styles you're daring to try so yeah playfulness i just love that word for you it really really feels good and as with sapphire i really recommend multiple focal points so by that and you'll see that I just mean that your outfit, you don't want to have just this one statement thingy and then everything else is kind of like quiet. Obviously, like, the world doesn't end <laughs> if you do that. But I think as a style practice, which you want, you know, right? so we have this really cool dress, fun bag, interesting shoes, sunglasses. It's like letting the eye kind of travel around the whole outfit rather than having the um, piece kind of pop out too much. Uh, hi, Joanna. Thank you for saying you love my earrings. Yeah, this is my fun, playful look for today. I, I have a lot of fun, playful options, but it kind of, yeah, this was my, what I want. Okay, so, uh, yeah, and thank you also your audience, right? So even though I don't want you to kind of, you're not really trying to get that desired impression in the same way that the Sapphire Keys, you know, you're not like as so much of like a goal setter, but you do want to think about, okay, if I'm showing myself to the world, right, and I want to share something that feels playful and fun, like, who am I sharing it with and how can I do that? And I talk about this in the Foundations course for the Essence, so I don't get too much into it now because I feel like maybe it's not as much fun, <laughs> but it is really helpful for you to think about. Wait, somebody said the sound broke down? Can you, can you not hear me? Okay. So, okay. It's just, it's just Marina. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So you got to think about your audience, but yeah, um, I don't, I think we'll talk a little bit about that. So first we're going to talk about the trendsetter muse. So she's right here in the bottom right corner. So the trendsetter muse, it's really simple for you. You just like really want your style to be kind of like an easy, open, flowing channel for your personal creativity, right? So you're doing things in your own way that's kind of extra, it has that intrigue, it's surprising, it's creative, and it's just kind of coming from you. And I think for you, like one thing I talk a lot with my clients about is kind of like having less of attachment to how the thing lands or not, right? Some things are hit, some things are a flop, but it's just for you really about the process of being bold and taking those risks. And I feel that is like playfulness on a really, really deep level. So that's why I wanna really talk about the free archetype. I feel like it's really like in the heart of it for you to have that approach about where it's not an exam style, but it's a game for you where you can really express and enjoy yourself. So on the left, I put this like very classy looking lady and then she has this like, oh, enormous puff sleeves, right? And then kind of like clogs. I guess I feel ultimately this outfit is honestly a bit random, but I really like it. <laughs> and I really would be so happy to see a person wearing this outfit. And I just feel like it really epitomizes that like, oh, it's a it's really surprising combination and it works through the charm of it and the same on the right right so this lady she has this really fun intrigue sweater this beaded kind of shelled bag and again like some sparkling shoes and it all just kind of comes together it's very visually expressive and just creative like why are the things together if it makes me kind of think of like the sea right with like kind of a coral bleach with the shells and the fading hair and the sweater or something like that so i feel like it's very evocative rather than just being like, oh, a simple combination of things. It somehow really speaks to you and, and gives you that intrigue. And the same on the right, I love just like the playfulness of the different combination. And this lady, she's really pulling it together. I wanted to show her because I feel like she's a lot more like cohesive, you know, than the others. It's like everything is very tailored and correct and tucked and adjusted. And, you know, everything is exactly right. But just like the playfulness in the combination in, in the vibes. I really like that. 
And yeah, I wanted to show this other example of just kind of like softness, right? I feel like this is to me is very fun with this like giant vest and she has really fun earrings, but doesn't need to be too much, right? Bags, I think it's just a great way for you to always add fun. I mean, for everybody, but for you, just like, what are you carrying? If you like bags, it could be fun to get something that feels playful and fun and it doesn't have to match the outfit. You just can carry it around. And I put these shoes because I think that would be like, if you like that feeling, I think they would be really fun to wear, even though they don't look that fun because they're just brown, but it's like the swinginess of them felt really fun to me. So I wanted to put that in there to remind you that for you, kind of the sensory approach and things feeling fun also really matters. Next we have the siren, so she's in the middle. And for the siren, right, your style is really a lot about your ability to provoke other people. That's what you like, is using style as kind of a provocation. And that's like, I think the, the fun of it, right? It's just like, oh, <laughs> Like, you know, just taking the space completely unapologetically and really having fun with it. So I have two outfits where I chose where they're just like, wow, it's a really, really bold pattern where it's like, I don't know, it's just, I would say like kind of in your face, right? And it's again, both styled in a very cohesive way, right? So here she has this like fully covered up look and she has like heavy shoes and this kind of heavy bag. And on the right, whereas it's more like colorful and pop and, cre you know, with the sunglasses and the matching lipstick and everything. In the middle, I just love this outfit. It's, you know, so over the top, everything and this orange, like swingy thing. And then the giant scrunchie, it's all like so extra. And I feel like the thing with the siren, right, is like you sometimes feel like, are you really allowed to be this way? And, you know, I feel like just it's okay if your style is a little bit like annoying to other people with the playfulness. That's why I put this cardigan here because I think that this is not maybe what you would think about with this playful, fun, colorful fashion, but it's so like ridiculous. Like why is it so big? And it can't even be comfortable because it must be so heavy. So I kind of find it annoying. And then I'm like, oh, that's very playful because it's, it's yeah. And then I just put this, I know this is like super extra, but I feel like for you, if you're having an extra day, you could totally carry off the very extra looks. And then these tights, they have like flowers on them. Like what? Like that's just, you know, it's just so absurd, I guess. <laughs> like that's fun. And again, if you're like watching this and you're the siren, but you're like, you hate these specific examples, this doesn't need to be your look. It's just, I'm saying like the vibe. It's like, let people react to the style. For the Enigma, so you're here all the way on the left down. So, you really the question mark is a person right and your style is a question mark and again as with the siren it's like you really enjoy creating that tension or rather it's really your t essence that creates the tension and your style just kind of maintains it you don't need to resolve it you don't need to be making it easy on other people so i did put just kind of you know this is kind of just a wild combo i don't think anything really goes together and then also i love how the whole body is really like hidden and draped behind these things so even though it's so bright and cheerful it's also like you don't really see her at all and that's why i love the giant sunglasses that are completely reflective because i feel like oh it's like you have so much distance from her even though the clothes appear like so sweet and welcoming so i love that then yeah, just kind of some intriguing, cool, a little bit mysterious combos. Again, yeah, I guess I, guess I have three photos with sunglasses, but you know, whatever, that's, that's fine. And this kind of enveloping, intriguing looks. And then I also, I love this lady because this dress is like a very sweet little dreamy princess dress, but then she has like the curtain bangs and the just like general vibe and attitude in the running shoes. It's so like, what's going on? <laughs> I want to know. And I really like that with the Enigma. And then, yeah, again, like just, you don't have to have like this wild statement socks with sandals, but just go for the thing, you know, that's going to make people be like, what's going on here? <laughs> I feel like that is really like a fun way for you to play with passion is your ability to make people be like, what is it? What's going on here? Then we have the Enchantress up there in the left up corner. And I mean, for the Enchantress, you, the story is that, you know, you're taking style really, really seriously. That's just like your main thing. And so for you, I think to go fun and playful is really about letting yourself kind of go all out. So I chose in these photos, like really colorful, really textured, 
really complex pieces right this lady on the left so she has this like really cool like i think maybe it's a dress shirt dress right and then she has this like snake necklace here and this little belt here and even the pants are undone and i know that all these three ladies are wearing the same shape that's but i so sorry it doesn't have to be that way but i do like that very like enveloping mystery you know like the maximum mystery for her and of course it's just everything is so like as with the priestess on the extremes it's like everything kind of becomes a statement piece and it's not like again you fail if you don't have that but just giving yourself permission for to have that everything be statement piece i found this lady she's has very very eclectic outfits and i really feel like she and she has like a vintage store maybe so i found her on pinterest and i feel like she really exemplifies that like enchantress playfulness of like really the desire to share that very playful side of her with the world and i put these really complex hairstyles and these customized boots here because i think like for the enchantress right style really is art for you right for a lot a lot of people are creative and artistic in many ways but for you like style is one of those like channels through which like you you really like you really enjoy being artistic through art uh, sorry yeah being artistic through style specifically so i feel like when you're having fun and making these playful styles it's about thinking like okay what are these kind of custom things i can do how can i really make this like artsy rather than just like you know that's how you you have the fun hope that makes sense and then for the lady hair tick she's up here in the top left corner so really strong in the upness really big desire again for this like just impress but it's less about you know get it creating that specific impression and more that you really like being very dressed up and really like have this very cohesive high impact look that's like a thing you really like to do so that's what I was looking for in these outfits, this sense of kind of being formal and dressy, but having that kind of twist and surprise on it. I love this look. So she has these pinstriped trousers and this very serious belt and this like blouse. And then just put the pattern on the blouse is kind of creative and it's the clash between the blouse and the pants and these very cool sunglasses. It's like she looks so sleek but at the same time like it really has that intriguing twist in the middle i love this because it's like these high heels and the mini skirts like it's so dressy but that sweater is just giving just a little bit of that intrigue and this cocooning kind of vibes um i feel like it's it's a very like fun superstar look and here on the left again i just like i love, I love everything from the sneakers to the little flower in her hair i don't want to explain it it's just art i really like it <laughs> And then, yeah, so just like for you, I think a big thing about having fun with style is the subversion aspect. So you like to do something that's really quite formal, quite dressy, quite tailored, quite refined, whatever. And then just like adding a little bit of that, like a little bit of that intrigue or a little bit of sensuality or a bit of that elemental like twist for you. And then, yeah, I just love like really extra accessories for you. I feel like you're this person who loves to put in that extra attention, extra care, extra emphasis on the things that you do. So I feel like it can be really fun to look for unique kind of statement accessories to add into your wardrobe because you can really pull them off as kind of a normal part of your wardrobe, whereas for other people it might be like, okay, that's a bit excessive. That's it. So we've gone through our four quadrants and we talked about how all of the 20 archetypes can do the fun, the playful, aesthetic. And I hope that you can see that the system really offers this kind of like guidance on how you can take in any aesthetic, any style that you like and make it your own by thinking about, okay, what is important to me, right? So as I talked through all the different archetypes, I talked about, okay, what's important to these people, right? So for the siren, what's important is that you like your style to be kind of provocative in different ways. So if we're going to take a aesthetic, how can you make that work for you? Or for the sweetheart, you want 
everything to be like really put together and really like easy and you want it to like feel really really nice right so i don't want for the sweetheart to be looking at the pinterest and thinking like okay i need to like copy this otherwise i'm doing you know a bad job with style i want you instead to maybe find these personalized things that feel really unique to you and that makes you feel really happy and comfortable so it's all about using the archetype to help you think about okay what are my priorities how am i going to approach that and giving yourself that permission right so for example if you're on the very up archetypes i as you saw in the video like especially for this aesthetic which is very extra if you want to do the aesthetic then give yourself permission to go for that very extra conversely like on the very downmost archetypes it's really about your own experience of the thing so you can let go of having to like do the aesthetic, you know, for other people and think about, okay, what, what feels fun and playful to me? How much do I really need? And a lot of what you do there is giving yourself that permission to just take what works for you and incorporate it in your own way. Maybe for you, that's just that shawl that you wrap around, or maybe it is that like really funky head to toe colorful outfit it's just about deciding what you want to do and so that's my goal with the archetypes and you can see that if you download my archetype guide that i just talk about i give these like two pieces of advice and whilst i am working on creating more content for archetypes and i do think they have a lot to give i think you know those like two pieces of advice they do like 80 percent of the work for you it's really thinking like for the illuminatrix right how can style bring me joy like if i really focused on letting style be something that lights me up as a person i don't need to write a 10 page essay about on why you know or how or what it's just a question but if i can ask myself that on a regular basis it takes you so so very far because for example with the playful thing let's go back to the beginning where i had that quote about putting away the childish the fear of being childish you know it's like giving yourself permission to actually wear the things that make you happy and that feel joyful for you maybe on maybe what is feeling joyful for you is a quite bold outfit that you know other people around you wouldn't wear you know the important thing is to give yourself permission and to go for it because like and i know i like just keep talking about permission and values but i think that's like the important thing that i do with my work and why I, yeah do all of these things is because it's so important to think about what does style do for you as a person? How can you really benefit from what you're wearing and the clothes you choose every day? How can you make style this resource that actually takes you further and improves your life on a daily basis? I think, you know, for a lot of us, style can often become just about, you know, doing it correctly, right? So we see this photo and we're supposed to try and copy it, but it's not really about that, right? It's not about kind of getting the outfit directly following the inspo. It's about really finding a way to use style as a really powerful tool that's like actually improving our life quality and not just looking cute in a photo because photos are nice, but if you look nice in a photo, but it doesn't do anything for you, then, you know, it's not a good use of your time and effort, I think at least. Okay big thoughts big style thoughts by Rita but important thoughts because you know that that's the point that's the reason why I do all of this is is, is the values of the people okay now I check the comments people like it Anya is a struggling priestess okay I was like talking to one of my priestess clients that we should start like a discord help support group for priestesses or something so okay and people they like the examples yeah i like that the lady heretics are bonding to each other and yeah so that's it that's the stream for today thank you so much for being here and then if you uh like the stream and you're watching the recording you want to see a different example i can recommend watching my stream on the old money aesthetic for each archetype it's kind of like the visual opposite from that and again i go through the archetypes one by one so you can see how i recommend them and yeah if people like the stream if you comment if you like that if you feel like it was valuable i would love to do another aesthetic i was thinking doing something like moody edgy dark aesthetic to kind of go in a different <clears throat> I, I feel like yeah that's we're kind of mapping out some different dimensions on style so we've done the elegant minimal style now this really colorful vibrant now i want to do something that's like yeah more moody mysterious like edgy cool dark looks so that's i think the next plan um yeah and just thank you so much for 
being here. Let me know if you liked it and let me know any thoughts you have. Okay. Bye everybody.